Hello, today I'm going to take you through how to use the lesson space to record a lesson and send to your students. It's super easy to use and if you, don't, if you still don't understand, you can always email us at support.thelessonspace.com. The first thing you need to do is sign up for the lesson space. But once you've signed up, you can type in thelessonspace.com into your Chrome browser. You then log in using the email address and password that you signed up with. This will take you to your lesson space overview page. The only thing you need to worry about at this time is going to spaces. Spaces is where you'll create your lesson. As you click on spaces, you can see here that I've got a whole lot of spaces that I've created already. If this is your first lesson, you won't have any spaces yet, but that's cool. You can start off fresh. We're going to create a new space. So here you can see your video in the right hand side corner, which you can pull. It's always nice to create a lesson that your kids can see as well. So they can see you in the corner and you can have a little chat with them in the beginning. But you can set up, if you don't want to see your face while you set up your lesson, you can turn your video off. Let's set up our lesson together. There's a whole lot of different features that the lesson space has. The first one, it's really useful, and I'd recommend if this is your first lesson, is the whiteboard tab. You can rename the whiteboard by double clicking on the name, and I'm going to call this Parts of a Circle. We're going to start by having a look at all the different tools. So this is the Select tool, the Move Canvas tool, which is really about dra dragging your canvas across, not what you'll use that often. The Drawing tool, really nice. Eraser, self-explanatory. The different shapes, this is really what I'm going to use now for parts of a circle. Text is really cool. Equation tool, you might not need. Bringing in any PDFs or uploading images that you might have already saved. Taking a snapshot. This is really useful to take a snapshot of your video. If you're used to writing things down, uh, this is a great way to do that. Okay, let's have a look at our parts of a circle and what we're going to do here. So I'm going to ch start by changing my color so you can see that. I'm going to go with the green and choose an ellipse. You can then start by talking to the students about what a circle is. So you've got the circle here, the circumference is the perimeter of the circle, it's going all the way around the outer edge of the circle. I'm going to change my color and introduce the diameter. You can use a line for the diameter so we can show the students the diameter. You can then change the color again to show the radius. Important things about the diameter is the radius is that they meet in the center, so there I can illustrate my center. You can also talk about an arc going along the outside, um, as different sectors, um, maybe you want to put in a chord for your students. So I'm just showing you all the different parts that you could use. So we can use our select tool to just readjust. And there you've gone through the parts of a circle. Now say I wanted to bring in a little bit more to my circle. How about some definitions? So while I'm setting it up, I can type in definitions of a circle. So I'm going to look up the definitions of a circle, radius, circumference, and diameter. So the diameter definition. So I'm just going to go to maths is fun. So this is all while you're still setting up your lesson. And the radius is coming from the center outwards. So you can just select that. I like to use Control C to copy. You select your text tool. We're going to have a black text. And then I'm going to paste it in there. So as I select the tool to move it, we can then talk about the radius. So if you want to highlight that you're talking about the radius, you can also then just underline radius or put a circle around it. Right, and then you can add in a whole lot of different definitions that you would want. So now I'm going to add a new whiteboard tab where we're going to do some practice. So I'm going to add in some practice examples here. Right, so I've already selected a, a practice example. Um, again, you can Google this, you can type it in, but I'm just going to paste it in here. So the diameter of a circle is 10 units. What is the radius? So say this could be an example that you want to use a bit later. Or if you want to talk about it now, you can then you can use the equation tool to write in. You can also use the uh, ellipse tool again if you want to show uh, the diameter of 10. And so half of that would be a radius of 5. So from the center all the way out, we have our radius of 5. Now let's have a look at a more difficult example. So 
say you want to get into the actual calculation of this. So again, I've just pasted this in um, from, I've just typed this in from an example that I've had already. And you can select, move things around a bit. And it says, what is the circumference of a circle with a diameter of three centimeters? So this is once I've explained a little bit more, you might want to do a section on pi um, to get that. But once your learners have, have understood the concept, we're now looking at if what is the circumference of a circle with a diameter of three centimeters. So you could use your equations tool. You're looking for circumference, and we know the circumference is equal to pi times d. So we can insert that there. Now, say you don't want to write this whole thing out on the whiteboard because it gets a bit messy. What you can do here is you can write down the solution on your work. So circumference equals pi times d. We're going to use pi as 3,14. And I'm just writing this down on my piece of paper. You can say to the learners, pause the video and now give yourself some time to write down the answer. So circumference equals 3,14 times by the diameter, which is 3. Okay, and I'm getting 9,42. And we are in centimeters. So what I've done is I've done the working over here. Now what we can do here is take a snapshot of my video, which has got the working on it. It's busy uploading the snapshot, that's great. There's my working. I can zoom in now and we can talk about this working. I didn't have to type it out on the whiteboard. It's nicely laid out. Um, and you can talk about it using your underline tool. So there, that was pi. Here I put in my diameter. So there was D. And then I got the answer out and I didn't forget my units. So I really like this tool because it means I don't have to write messily on the whiteboard. And it's a nice, easy way, uh, a quite a quick way to get your answers out. If you'd like to upload slides or import images, you can do that as well using this upload image or PDF. Remember all the slides or PowerPoints that you already have can be downloaded as a PDF and then you can upload them. Remember, if you want this to just be a quick 10 minute clip, don't uh, bombard the students with too much. Just show them a little bit of the lesson and then you can send them the recording and they can do some more practice afterwards. Right, so if you exit out of that lesson space, you will come straight back to your lesson space page. I'm going to go to my spaces. You'll come straight back to your uh, dashboard. This is the most recent one. And so I'm going to go and rename it and I call it parts of a circle. So you created a space, a new space. Um, you then renamed it by clicking on those three dots. And now if you want to send the recording to your learners, you go down to where it says sessions. This is a really important part. Um, you only want to show the sessions with one user because it was just you giving the lesson. Remember the time that you were giving that lesson was, um, it was called parts of a circle. So it was 11.15 to 11.27. I can then view the recording. So I can now watch myself giving that lesson. You can press play and you can view that recording. Now you've got this recording, what you can do with it is you can take this link here. Now it's quite a long link, but it's great. It's for the playback of the room that you created. And you can take that link, you can copy and paste it. Um, so control C or, or just copy. If you want to send it uh, via email, via WhatsApp on Google Classroom, and then your learners can open it up and watch the tutorial that you created. Right, that's it on lesson creation and playbacks. We hope you really enjoy creating these videos for your students.